going to talk about the rebound stroke. So now once you have your grip nice and comfortable, you basically want to think about dribbling a basketball. So you want to do that with the stick in your hand and feel the stick naturally wanting to come back from the rebound of it hitting the drum. So let's try this just one rebound stroke at a time and see what happens. When my hand is in the up position, you can see that I have a lot of space here in my grip. And I do this intentionally so that I have a nice loose grip so that I don't get any tension going on. When you take the stick out of your hand and you grip down like this, you can see and feel all this tension. So you don't want to do that on the stick either. You want to keep a nice, open, relaxed grip. Now we're going to play some consecutive rebound strokes and you want to just think of dribbling the stick like you're dribbling a basketball. So you're going to just wrap your fingers around the stick and it's going to try to dribble the stick basically on the head. And you just want to feel what that feels like and you want to have a nice up and down motion without having the stick wiggle and woggle all around. This is something that you want to do maybe in the mirror or videotape yourself so that you can look at yourself playing, make sure that you're actually relaxed when you're doing this and that you're not stiff arming things and you're not tensing up too much. Now we're going to play this very simple exercise of eight on a hand. You're going to play eight notes in the right hand, eight notes in the left hand. You want to aim for a consistent sound and if you're right handed, you may play the right hand a little stronger than the left. You want to make sure that you work on that left to get it to try and sound even with the right. You want to play these along with the play along tracks. You may also want to play along to the radio or play along to some of your favorite songs. The key is to make sure that you play with a consistent tempo and you want to develop good habits time wise. So let's talk about the left hand traditional grip a little bit. What's challenging about it is that you're doing one thing with the right hand while doing something else with the left. So you have this kind of rotating motion happening with the left, which some people say is sort of like turning a doorknob, but it's not quite like that. It's maybe a little bit like if somebody asks you how you're doing and you say, eh, I'm doing all right. So you can kind of think of that motion, just basically think of your left hand rotating like this. So when you put the stick in your hand, you basically have the same kind of rotating motion, but now you have the stick there and you just want to remain rotating like this. You don't want to get a too weird of an angle. You want to just make sure that your hand is still rotating. The fulcrum for the left hand traditional grip is basically in the same place as if you were playing match grip. So you want to just experiment with that and find out where you're going to get the most optimal bounce. It's about a third of the way down the stick. It's kind of uh, on the Vic first stick. It's about where the flag is. So experiment with that. You may want to choke back or choke up a little bit depending on what feels good to you. But you want to make sure that you get the optimum rebound from the fulcrum that you choose to use on the stick. 